AI memory is in a weird place right now. It's quite limited and due to the way transformers work, it forgets things as prompt sizes grow. This presents a big problem for many AI use cases and a hurdle in reaching AGI. New solutions to this problem are arising every day. What if you could have millions of tokens in your context? A new research paper claiming to enable context lengths of 2 million plus tokens was just published yesterday. Yes, you heard me right, 2 million tokens. In this video, we're gonna discuss why AI memory is so important, the newly released paper, and other methods for giving AI memory. So why is AI memory such a big deal? Giving AI memory allows for performance gains, better generalization, enhanced reasoning, and other higher level cognitive functions, continual learning after initial training, and much more. Let's start with a use case that hits close to home for anyone using ChatGPT. Any information that you wanna to pass to ChatGPT that it isn't already trained on is limited to what you can fit in the prompt. For ChatGPT 3.5, that's about 4,000 tokens, which is very small. For GPT-4, it increases to 8,000 and a 32,000 token version, which is much better, but still limits many use cases. A few videos ago, I reviewed a research paper about autonomous agents. One of the use cases I was most excited about was video games, enabling NPCs to be powered by AI. But how can we allow NPCs to live in a virtual world if they forget what they learned every day or even every week? To reach the full potential of autonomous agents in video games, they need to be able to form and reflect on memories the same way humans do throughout their entire lives. Another example of the limitations of low context lengths is using ChatGPT for coding. Code bases become large quickly and not being able to provide the entire code base as context to the large language model prevents it from easily understanding the entire code base, increasing the amount of work a developer has to do to work with ChatGPT as a coding partner. One last example I wanna share is providing new information to large language models. The way that LLMs work, they only have information up until the point that they were trained. That's why you see ChatGPT responding with, as an AI language model, I only have information up until September, 2020. That's because once the training is done, the prompt is the only way to give it new information. So the information you can give it is limited to that prompt. What if a new book is published and you wanna ask questions to the LLM about that book? You can only do that in sections at a time or by fine tuning, which is extremely costly. So how do we give AI larger memory? Let's start with the autonomous research paper I mentioned earlier. In the paper I reviewed, the autonomous agents formed memories recorded them in a vector database, and then retrieved only the most relevant memories when deciding how to react to a new situation. Those retrieved memories were then used in a ChatGPT prompt. Additionally, they would reflect on those memories over time and record those reflections, similar to how humans remember things. You can probably remember the details of things that happened to you today or even yesterday, but you only remember the broad strokes of things that happened to you weeks, months, or even years ago. And you have insights gained from those memories long ago, but not the actual details. Another potential memory solution claims to enable context of 2 million tokens. This research paper, which I'll link to in the description below, details the use of a hybrid approach between recurrent neural networks and transformers. I won't get too deep into the details, but from a high level, some of the pros of this approach include potentially unlimited context length and no significant increase in the base model's memory size. But there are drawbacks. The cons include decreased quality with similar decay patterns observed in RNNs and potentially very long inference time. Although this approach is cool, it is far from being ready for prime time. So that's the current landscape of AI memory. You can try to pass as much context into the prompt as you can. You can use memory compression techniques like described in the autonomous agents paper, or you can wait for the hybrid approach described in that other paper I mentioned. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be other techniques out there soon, and I'm gonna keep an eye out for them. If you know of any others, please tell me, and I read all the comments. To unlock some of the coolest use cases for AI, including AGI, 
We need to solve the AI memory problem. This is something I'm personally very interested in working on. So you'll hear more about AI memory from me in future videos. If you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.